Now, CBS 6 News. Hair loss, nausea, heart problems. Cancer patients dread hearing they may need chemotherapy because of the potential for harsh side effects. But doctors have a test that can tell you whether you can avoid chemo and survive. Stephanie Roshan tells us about technology a local doctor calls the future of cancer treatment. This cardio class is one way Erin Lyon stays fit and healthy. She got right back into her exercise routine after completing breast cancer treatment last year. She feels she was able to do it because she didn't need chemotherapy and avoided its toxic side effects, something she worried about when she was first diagnosed. It was always like an anxiety. So when I found out that there was the gene testing of the tumor, I was like, wow, I didn't even know they had that. Lyons refers to the moment she first learned about Mammaprint, a genetic test that answers an important question for patients and their doctor. Do I need chemo? So we found we were treating a lot of patients with chemotherapy that probably didn't need it. Chemotherapy reduces the risk of the cancer coming back and spreading. About the pathways that control but Dr. Pelican says some patients have a low risk of that happening. The Mammaprint test tells him which ones. Here's how it works. A patient's tumor is tested for genetic markers that indicate if there's a high or low risk for recurrence. If there's a high risk, they're given chemotherapy. If they fall in the low risk group like lions, they may only need a pill that blocks estrogen, such as tamoxifen, for five or ten years. A five-year prospective study that looked at low-risk patients based on mammoprint results found 97 percent of them were disease-free five years later, and a group of those patients received no treatment at all. In the old days, using old parameters, they would have all gotten chemotherapy. Lyons had a mastectomy, is taking tamoxifen, and hopeful she'll have a disease-free future. Well, what can we expect from this in the future? Dr. Pelican says it could potentially streamline who gets screened. For example, perhaps you'll only need a mammogram. It could determine who needs an MRI and who doesn't need screening at all based on your genetic profile. And not just for breast cancer, but all cancers, Julie.